Hello. So today I wanted to speak about the reason why you may feel stuck in that situationship. So we'll just dive right in. The reason why you feel stuck in that situationship is because of what you are telling yourself. So it's so easy, again, to get caught up in those actions. So that person in a situationship is ultimately doing the same things that they would do with someone in a relationship for the most part. Now, there are some exceptions where um, sometimes you may have someone not really give you that full commitment and they are also being a bit distant. And so I wouldn't really call that a situationship. A situationship is when things feel very, very, very relationship-like, but there's just no title. As a woman, I have experienced this multiple times and I know plenty of women who go through this also. And the ultimate reason why you feel like that is because you have got to change your mindset. That truly, that mindset that you will not find someone who will commit to you, especially if you've been through a pattern of those type of relationships where you always are seeking or always end up being with men who don't want to commit to you. And so mentally, you start to convince yourself, okay, I may not be deserving of a relationship. Maybe there's some things about myself that I really need to fix but, but to prove to somebody that I am worth a relationship. Let me tell you something. As humans, we all have things that we have to continue to work on on a daily basis. That does not mean that you are undeserving of a relationship. Work on yourself work on your brand, work on who you want to be, work on your purpose in life. You can work on all those things single and in a relationship. So it has nothing to do with you constantly working on yourself. It has to do with your mindset. What are you telling yourself? Are you telling yourself that you are pretty? Are you telling yourself that you will attract the person that's right for you? Are you telling yourself that you will be in a relationship? Are you telling yourself that you will get married? You have to be very intentional about the words that you tell yourself because it's so easy to be tricked by the enemy and think that you are not deserving and you will never have that relationship. See, I went through a phase where literally I was going to situationship after situationship. I mean, it was like, a pattern okay and I absolutely hated it I truthfully did not want to be in a situation I wanted to be in a relationship yet I stayed in those situationships and the only problem that I had was that I did not leave because I convinced myself that I was not ready for a relationship or I convinced myself that that person would come around and see, that's another way that you get stuck in a situation for so long because you convince yourself that that person will come around. You've invested so much time and so much energy and so much to that person that you feel like, I can't walk away now. I can't give up now. Let me tell you something. Time well spent is not time wasted. So, everybody is not here for life. The people in your life, that person, that special person to you, may just be there for a season. And that's okay. And I know, of course, it's always easier said than done. There's emotions involved, there's feelings involved, all those things. But when you really take the time and think about the fact that you are not getting what you want out of the relationship or out of the situationship, you must really take the time to reevaluate what exactly you're doing. So do you want a relationship and you're settling for someone who doesn't want a relationship? And then you have to ask yourself, why are you doing that? Say self. Why am I settling and committing to someone 
who is not even committing to me. Just because he tells me that we're exclusive, just because we are not sleeping with other people as far as I know, I don't know what he's doing, but he tells me he's not doing anything. Why am I committing myself to someone who won't give me that title? And then you have to go a step further and say, self, if this man can take me out on dates, sleep with me, have me around his family and friends, go travel with me, do things around the world, make people think that we're in a relationship, even myself included, but we're not in a relationship. Why is that? Why is he doing this? And the truth is, because he can. You have not enforced anything. You have not enforced anything. If he is reaping all the benefits of being a fake boyfriend and he can still say at the end of the day, I'm single, why would he? Why would he? So you have to know your worth and you have to say that you're enough and you have to speak to yourself on a daily basis and say, you know what? I know that I invested time and energy into this situationship here. And I forgive myself and I accept the fact that I did those things and I forgive myself, but it will not happen any longer. If someone wants to reap the benefits of a girlfriend, then they have to make me their girlfriend. So I just wanted to get on here today and just talk with you a little bit about, you know, again, that reason why you may feel stuck in that situation ship and so um or the reasons i should say why you may feel stuck in that situation ship so yeah so uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe um also feel free to leave any comments under the video about different topics that you would like to, me to speak on i'm always open to doing so in addition to that i must say that booking is now available online and you will be able to find the link below for a coaching session with me uh, on any specific topic that I specialize in and you will be able to find all that information on my website. So check it out. Thank you. Bye-bye.